Hi friends, it's Kim with Sweet Daisy Creations and welcome everyone to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. Thank you so much for stopping by if you're brand new and thank you for coming back everyone who is one of my subscribers. I love all of y'all, you'll know that so much. You've put so much good things into my life. I just, um, I can't say enough that I have the sweetest subscribers ever in the whole wide world. I just love you really, 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 truly from my heart. And like I said before, every time I put a heart on a comment, it comes from my heart. Anyways, I don't want to keep you for a long time. I just have a small little haul to finish out my Easter decor. Um, I realized when I was going along that uh, I was needing a couple of things to fill out a couple of areas. So I went to Hobby Lobby this morning. Um, I didn't go crazy. I was really trying to uh, be night good and not spend a whole lot of money. So, um, well, one thing I had to pick up was more of the chenille stems. And I bought the big, big package that were $3.99. I could have used my 40% off coupon on that. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> but anyways, you know, for all the bows I make and stuff like that, um, I need these. And then if I'm uh, going to maybe start making some bows, you know, for my um, Etsy page or something like that or Metsy shop. Um, I always need um, these chenille st sticks, pipe cleaners. I don't know why they can't call them pipe cleaners. Anyway, so I got some of those. And then another thing that I picked up because I haven't been back to Dollar Tree in a bit to get any of their reindeer grass or whatever they call it, reindeer moss. Um, I got some of the All American Moss in this green color because it's great for springtime um, and for when I make my flower arrangements and stuff which I don't have any planned right at the moment because I've got pretty much enough flower arrangements. But anyways, I uh, always need this for like decorating and stuff because I did use some of this in my two-tier tray. Anyways, so, oh, what's in here? Oh, I forgot I got this. <laughs> I forgot I got this little thing. Well, I was walking around and, of course, this caught my eye because it has black and white check on it. Isn't it the cutest little rabbit? Look. It's just a little thing. I'm probably going to be hanging this, and you'll see it probably on my hutch. Um, you know, I've got knobs on my hutch, and I thought that he would look cute on there. And it says, uh, Happy Spring, I think, or just says Spring. But I love it that it's got the buffalo check. So I thought it was super, super cute. It was only $2.99 and 40% off, so I don't. I think I got this super, super cheap. I've got my, my receipt right here. Let's see what it says. 40% uh, off $2.99, so I got it for $1.79. So anyways, isn't it adorable? I love it. I wish they actually had a, like a real, you know, like, I wish they would do more stuff like this with the buffalo check, like an actual rabbit, you know, like a ceramic or, or you know, what else, what else are they made out of that maybe had some buffalo check on it or a stuffed one would be super cute that was buffalo checked, wouldn't it? Anyways, so, so cute. So I love this. And I love the little flowers that it has on it. So anyways, cute. Well, another thing, what I was going to look for when I was down there, I don't know if I mentioned uh, when I did my wreath that I'm planning to make, and I'm going to get to that probably after um, a bit, you know, get started on, it's going to be a regular everyday wreath that I had talked about maybe putting it on my Etsy shop, but I'm going to make it for my front door actually because I think it's going to go perfectly with all my goodies, which are still sitting here, um, for my front door. But anyways, uh, when I was there, I had um, the sign, and maybe I mentioned this in my video. Um, I had taken a picture of the sign that, that is going to go on the wreath. While there was something uh, very similar with, um, it had magnolias and everything, it was a picture um, that was in down one of the aisles, and I fell in love with it. It was like a wearable, wear, I said this last time, I couldn't say it either, wheelbarrow, um, that had all different kinds of flowers in it. Well, I saw it today, but it wasn't on sale, so I didn't buy it. They only had two left. I'm hoping I can get one, because I think it would be so cute on my gallery wall when I get to start it on that darn thing, which I'm hoping to do soon. But anyways, uh, let's see, what else did I get? Okay, I went down there because I wanted a garland for the front porch. Um, I sort of kind of wanted one around the door, but I'm not quite sure. This is going to go probably another area on my porch. And I just wanted something that was light and kind of springy looking. Let me see if I can get out of the bag. I'm sorry about all the crinkly. I stuck it in there so I wouldn't have all the um, carpet in my car, you know. Anyways, it's this white 
and it's just kind of very, it's just gonna, I think it's gonna hang on my front porch, and so it wisps down like this, which I love, and it's just plain white, and I just thought it would be pretty um, out there with um, some stuff near it and stuff, so I'm uh, loving it. It was $23.99, and it was 50% off, because all the garlands were 50% off, but isn't that pretty? I like it. I was at first looking for something purple, but I thought this could I could use for all spring and not just when I had my Easter decor up, you know? So I got that and I just love it. I think it's so cute. And then I also needed some white bunnies. So the first one I found was this one and it, it's, um, I don't know if you can see, yeah, it's just kind of, it's like, I don't know what it's made out of. I don't know if it's made of wood or what it's made out of, but it um, stands up like this, and it's got all the distressing on it. So that's going to be somewhere in my decor, but I needed something white. I was looking for something white. So that's the first one. Um, this one was $13.99 uh, for 40% off. I didn't spend much at um, Hobby Lobby. I think the total I spent was $47, so it wasn't a lot. But so I got that white one. And then I picked up another white bunny and I thought these were so cute. Look at how adorable he is. This one was $9.99. And it's got, you know, it's a ceramic, I guess, or whatever this is, probably ceramic. Let me take this off. Look at how stinking cute he is, look. He's got his little hand up to his nose, and he just sits like this. Isn't he just adorable? Oh, I should have picked up a couple more of these. <laughs> They're so cute. Just so stinking cute. Love that. Don't you think he's adorable? Anyway, so yeah, I needed a white bunny. And then I picked up one of the moss bunnies. Now I have a couple of few moss bunnies, but I wanted one that stood up. You know, this one stands up. A lot of them are kind of laying down, um, but this one stands up and it's got its cute little ears. This was $7.99 and it was 40% off. But I really do love these moss bunnies. I think they're just as cute as Dickens. They're just adorable, aren't they? So cute, so I got that. And then the last thing I picked up was just another bolt of this ribbon. I haven't, um, last time I checked Craft Outlet, they didn't have the big buffalo check ribbon, which I'm dying to get a bolt of it. I think it comes like um, kind of on a big roll, um, but they haven't had it in stock. So I bought up another one of these because, um, you know, I do love using this buffalo check with all kinds of different, you know, projects and wreaths and in um, bows and all kinds of stuff. So I figured I'd get it because um, these the ribbon was on sale too, 50% off. But anyways, that is my haul. I don't have anything else to, um, to buy, I think, for Easter. I think I'm done. And I should be bringing you my Easter home tour very soon. I just have to finish my front porch out and um, a couple of things in the house. And then I'll be ready to bring that to you. But I kind of have some a little bit of exciting news um, recently, my daughter, and I actually saw it as well on Facebook, a friend of hers, um, her parents want her to get rid of her dog. It's um, like a year-old part Shih Tzu and a poo mix or something um, that her parents want to get her to get rid of it before she goes off to college because they have four other dogs. So she put that out on Facebook, and I, you know, I kind of looked at it and kind of passed it off, you know, and thought, but then my daughter called me from school one day and said, Mom, can't we get this dog? Can't we get this dog? So we might be having another dog in our family. <laughs> we already have our one shisu, which is Hannah, who is really old. She's 14. She's got uh, heart issues. Um, what do they call it? Congenitive heart disease or, or something like that. Um, and she's um, at the point where she's kind of on a managed care with some heart medicine. So she's getting old and, you know, she's, they said she could have heart failure at any time, which is scary to think about, but it will happen 
at some point in time. But anyways, this other dog um, is brown, a brown mix. Um, my, ours is a white and black. This one's a brown mix. It's also a male. I've never had a male dog, actually, to tell you the truth. Um, they are going to get him fixed before we get him. But it looks like we're probably going to get in that new dog here in another week or so. So I'm looking forward to it. It's a... Um, younger dog so it's going to be more you know a lot of fun we'll be, be, be able to play ball be able to take it on walks our dog right now hannah doesn't go walking anymore she's just um doesn't have enough energy you know for that and she never one was she never was one that um would you could play ball with because her mouth is really tiny um because she's a full-blooded shih tzu but anyways uh I'm excited. I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to having another dog. Would that make us have two? Um, <coughs> let me get a drink. <laughs> I got myself choked up. But anyway, so pretty soon, maybe you'll be seeing our new, uh, kind of like a puppy. Um, but he's is a year old, like maybe about 15 months. He's not, um, he's still like in that puppy stage. So it should be fun, but I think he is already um, like housebroken. He is crated, so um, they will be bringing all his stuff with him. And um, I think it's going to be fun to have a, a new um, exciting little friend in the house. But anyways, I wanted to share that with you. Um, I'll be back soon, hopefully with my home tour. And then um, we're going to be starting to make some bows for my front porch for my regular everyday. So after Easter, I'll have get to decorate in that and um just make i gotta make that wreath too and then i've you know got other several other video type things we're going to be doing and maybe doing some cooking stuff maybe we'll see i'll talk to you soon love you love you take care everyone and have a blessed afternoon bye